Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if voice typing is not working on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So it could be caused by a couple of different issues here. And in today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to hopefully resolve the problem. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in settings. Best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select privacy and security. And then on the right side, scroll down underneath app permissions and select microphone. Make sure microphone access is turned on. The master toggle switch is enabled. And if there's any particular apps you're having the issue with, make sure they are turned on here as well. Especially sound recorder, for example, if you're trying to do voice dictation, you want to make sure that is enabled. And once you've done that or ensured that this is turned on, go over to time and language on the left panel. And then on the right side, select speech. And then underneath speech language, make sure the correct language is selected here. And if English is not your native language, you want to check mark which is recognize non-native accents for this language. So that could be a potential issue in there as well. And once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in device manager. Best match, or come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the audio input and output section. And then right click on your microphone device and select where it says update driver. How do you want to search for drivers? Select browse my computer for drivers. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If you have a manufacturer or developer specific one, I would suggest going along with that one. Otherwise, you can select the generic driver and then select next. Close it here once you're done with that and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.